Turning now to the flood damage left behind after the storms in our area. The damage now delaying the upcoming season for a Northside Baseball Little League. The night team's Bill Barajas explains they're in a race to get back in full swing. Day two of all day cleaning has come to an end. The Northwest Little League fields look bad now, but have already come a long way from when players and coaches first saw it. I thought it was a dump. Fields looking like a mess, it makes me feel really sad. Dang, how did all that rain do that much damage? Parents of players and the president of the league all came out to try and save America's pastime for their kids. But with the start of the fall season just a month away, they're racing against the clock. I've been at the league almost 25 years, and this is the worst damage I've ever seen out here. President David Heinball walked us through some of the damages, starting off with the outfield fence, down. now laying in the infield. That's the outfield fence that was out there where all those poles are bent over. I'm standing in one of the underground dugouts, and I was told that the water actually filled us up to the very top. Now, I'm not a very big guy, I'm about 5'7", five, 5'8", five, but you can see the debris line is way above my head. I would have been completely submerged in here, and they have this pump still in here. They said it was pumping water all night. They were just able to turn it off this morning. The field's being torn apart, just another big hit on the league who's still trying to recover from the pandemic. Heinball tells us they're down about 20,000 from where they normally would be after a season. Years, I've been playing baseball mm -hmm. on these fields for 50 yep. years. How important is it to get this fixed for the kids? Oh, it's really important. It's not for us to create Major League Baseball players, it, 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 we're supposed to be creating good citizens. He has no idea yet how much this is going to cost to fix, but regardless of the price, the goal is to have the kids go from running around the trash to running around the bases come August. John Paul Barajas, KSAT 12 News. And again, that was John Paul Barajas reporting. There is a mass cleanup effort on Saturday at 9 a.m. Anyone who wants to help is welcome. Crews will be meeting at 6828 Poss Road.